Located off of Interstate 10 at the northern end of Mobile Bay, you'll find what has become one of Alabama's most cherished icons, the World War II battleship, USS Alabama. Affectionately known as the Mighty A, this once mighty battleship is now the centerpiece of the USS Alabama Battleship Memorial Park, a museum and memorial honoring military veterans from our state. When you arrive at the park, you'll see various military aircraft placed all around the parking area and adjacent to the ship. There are also displays of tanks, artillery, and other heavy military equipment on display as well. The shaded picnic tables right by the water are a nice touch. Plus, there's a fishing pier which offers an excellent vantage point of the ship. We spent nearly an hour just exploring the outside exhibits before making our way into the aircraft pavilion. Inside the hangar, there are some incredible aircraft on display, including one of the Marine One helicopters used by several U.S. presidents, from Richard Nixon to George H.W. Bush. Price could have spent a couple of hours looking in here without even making it onto the battleship. When I finally managed to drag him away, we chose to first tour the USS Drum, which is a World War II submarine that's on display next to the pavilion. A must-see attraction, this is the oldest American submarine on public display. Her crew managed to sink 15 Japanese ships during World War II, with the eighth highest tonnage sunk of any American submarine in the war. All aboard! You'll start your tour by descending from the deck into the forward torpedo room, working your way back through the vessel one compartment at a time. It is very cramped, so those prone to claustrophobia may want to avoid this one. Jess made it through all right, but she did have some issues when it got a little crowded in some places. Make sure you climb into the conning tower to see the periscope and other equipment. Price has always been fascinated by submarines, so we really enjoyed this experience a lot. Me? Not so much. What? This is confusing! Uh -huh. Finally, we boarded the USS Alabama. The Mighty A served in the Atlantic and Pacific theaters during World War II, with the bulk of her service being in the Pacific. She earned nine battle stars during the war as the Allied forces fought their way across the Pacific towards Japan. On September 5, 1945, she sailed with the American fleet into Tokyo Bay after the Japanese surrender. Welcome to my crib. The ship is broken up into three color-coded tours for you to follow. The yellow tour includes the main deck, gun turrets, and the bridge areas. The green and red tours cover the lower decks, dividing between the forward and aft sections of the ship. Highlights of the yellow tour include the massive main gun turrets, which fired 16-inch shells that weighed 2,700 pounds. If you like those, you should get a load of these! the secondary 5-inch gun turrets, and the bridge, including the captain's sea cabin. You can get some great pictures on deck and from the various vantage points around the superstructure. The green and red tours include stops such as the galley, sick bay, engine room, the brig, and the ship's magazine. It was remarkable to me how self-sufficient the ship must have been with everything from a cobbler's workshop to a blacksmith's workshop. It really was like its own small city on the water. The layout of the ship seems surprising and a little overwhelming. We found it easy to get lost and miss things, but if you make sure to follow the arrows and signs on your tour, you'll be sure to find your way outside once more. The age of battleships may be over, but they represent a fascinating era of naval history that you can experience for yourself on board the USS Alabama. We had an awesome time exploring at Battleship Memorial Park and highly recommend a visit when you're visiting the Mobile Bay area. You can spend hours here taking in all of the history, immersing yourself in the lives of the sailors during the Second World War. It's easy to see why this is one of Alabama's most treasured places. Until next time, thanks for watching Sparks of Discovery.